In the following video, we are going to look at SSL connections with the Horizon client. So first, I'm going to open up my Horizon client. And I have my connection server available, but before I double click it, I'm going to come to the three lines in the top right corner. And I'm going to click configure SSL. Now, at the moment, my settings are that I have the checkbox selected for warn before connecting to untrusted servers. There's two other options available. There is the never connect to untrusted servers and there's do not verify the server identity at all. So at the moment I'm at the, the in-between level where I get a warning and I'm allowing somebody to make a choice. That's what I've set. So I'm gonna click cancel because I'm not making any changes. And I'm going to double click on my connection server and I actually get an error message now. The error message in itself is saying that the Horizon client can't verify the connection. It's saying the server provided a certificate, a self-signed certificate instead of a verifiable cert. And because the server, the connection server has in the past provided a verifiable cert, there's a strong likelihood that the connection is not secure. So it's actually not letting me pass through. So if I look at the certificate, by clicking show certificate, I can see that it was issued by the connection server. And if I click into the details, I can see information here. I can see there's no subject alternative name and um, that this was issued by the connection server again from VMware. So I'm just going to click OK. And if I click OK, I don't actually get taken on any further. I get brought back to the connection server. Now, again, this is because I've actually changed my environment here. I had a CA sign cert and I'm after replacing that with a self sign cert. So if I quickly take you to my connection server and I open up the console, you can see that VDN, the friendly name that tells the connection server which cert to use is from the self sign cert and not for the CA sign cert. Okay, so it's just important to note that's why I'm getting this message. So if I come back to my Horizon client and select the options button and configure SSL, I'm going to first click the never connect to an untrusted server, select OK, and double click once more. And I just get a straight up message. So fail to connect to server provided a certificate that is invalid. And we know that this is because it's the self sign cert. So again, I select OK. I'm taken back to the connection server option again. Click on the three lines, configure SSL, and this time I'm going to select do not verify the server identity certificates. And now when I double click the, the connection server, I'm prompted for my username and password. And one thing we can note here is that at the server, it shows us specifically the identity of this server wasn't verified. Okay, and this is really important information because when it is verified, this should be green. We should see a green mark and not a red mark saying that this is trusted and that we're allowed to use this. And this is very important information because in some environments when people are running in a test setup, they'll change the warnings or they'll get used to acknowledging warnings. And this can lead to a little bit of um, complacency when you're dealing with issues and you start to just accept warnings by default. So when a genuine real warning occurs or a potential man in the middle attack or anything of that sort, you're conditioned to just accept the warnings because this is your default behavior. And this is where issues can happen and this is where security breaches can happen. So it's our recommendation that you would change your SSL to never connect to an untrusted server or at a minimum warn before connecting to an untrusted server but again ideally never connect select ok and now i'm going to come back to my connection server i'm going to change the friendly name so i'm going to just change this to vdm select ok and i'm going to change this to vdm original because it was the default cert I'm going to select OK. Now for this to take effect, I need to restart one of the services. So I type services.msc. Come in here and press V to bring me down the option. And it's the Horizon View Security Gateway component that needs to be restarted. So right click, restart. 
thankfully it's quite a quick service to restart so again i can close this and i'm actually going to minimize my connection the rdp to the connection server and now if i verify once more that i have never connected to an untrusted server set select ok and when i double click my connection server i can now see that it is green the identity of the certif of the server has been verified and it's because i'm using the csi insert again we would strongly recommend that for your own security reasons that you would always use this setting where possible and that you would use a an, an official or a, a qualified certificate and that you would only ever run on the uh, self-signed certificate in your test environments this completes the demo thank you